This is a video demonstration for the Summit 2100RD. Start by once around the machine. It's currently powered up and ready to go. We'll be showing you a demonstration of various functions in a moment here. Serial tags are notorious for not showing up well on video, but if you need a better copy, please let me know. Here's a picture of uh, all the tooling that comes with it. Now, uh, well, there is one outstanding issue that I'll point out in a second here. Manuals and software here. Okay, this bumper needs a part, is that correct? This bumper needs to be replaced. Needs Safety. to be replaced. Yeah. That's why these wires are loose right now. Okay, and we're working on that. Okay, let's start with a, a we're going to start with the dispense feature, function. Yep, we've got our board, we've got our site selected, which is this guy right here, and we're just going to hit dispense. Go. Should I show the vision or what's doing over here? Over here. Probably have to bounce back and forth. Cube is coming out. Now it's asking us to align to the end pad. And then confirm the other end pad. It does a board height detection sequence, so that's a, it checks I think three three spots around the component to make sure it has the height set. And that's just purge compound in the valve right now. It's pink Vaseline basically. Two or three chummy dots just to get it dispensing, and then it'll dispense the pattern. Is there a light so I can show them the dots? It's going to bring the board back out to the home position. When okay. It's It's not optimized, so they're going to be a little go out together, but it'll come out to the lower left corner. Whoop, kind of blurry there. Maybe guys, maybe that's better. We just did it to the center pattern rather than the whole thing to save some gotcha. time. Okay. Clean her off, and next so process is, is uh, pick in place. Pick in place. So this is the component for that pad stack. We're going to put it on the pick station. Okay. And we're going to select pick in place. Where do I want to be watching screen or? It's bringing the component down to pick the part now first, and then it'll have us align it. So it's got the part. Now it's going to shuttle the table back and the cube out. Now it's going to have us align the uh, the part. What's nice about this machine is it the split prism. Mm -hmm. This is a picture of the hole. The entire part, which is very large, the split prism 
it lets you bring the parts in so you can just align the corners. Oh, that's so, kind of new. Cool. That's one of the one of the SRT uh, features. So that's the part, and that's the board. So you kind of play with the lights until you can, so you can see see the overlay. Sure. So we'll turn the board down a little bit so we can see the part more, and then we just jog. We're going to line up these corner pads here. There, and you can see how the whole pattern lined up. Yep. So then we say go. So now it's placed ready for the refill process. Which would be next? Which would be next. You get a... It just looks like the machine's in calibration, so you can see it lined up to the corner tick marks. Okay, and then we're going to select refill site one. Go. We're not going to let this finish so it doesn't get too hot, but you'll see both the lower heaters and the upper heaters come on. Should I be looking at the screen or uh, a little bit of both again? Oh, it told us to wipe off the waste dots, which I already did that. It will bring down the... It wants you to... It's asking you to sunder the part in the, uh, sure. in the nozzle. And it looks we're we're pretty we're pretty close to being centered. We'll jog it a little bit here. This is just to align the make sure the heat tunnel is aligned with the part. Okay, go. Okay. It brought the nozzle down. You, it'll allow you to jog the height here. We're not going to. We just say go. So here you can see the bottom heat, the bottom panel is coming up in heat. Once that hits 195C, then it starts, then it switches over and, and starts ramping the top heater. Okay. How far are we taking it? About another 15 seconds. As soon as it hits 195C, we're going to wait 8 seconds for it to dwell and then it kicks on the top heater just so we can show that the top heater is ramping. And then we'll stop it. So it's gonna dwell and then the top heater will come on. There, now you can see the top heater. Now it's pretty, it's brought down the shelf. Oh, I saw that out of the corner of my eye, I missed it. But I can see it now. And it'll continue going through the rest of the refill profile. You can see it's ramping here. Gotcha. Both, both heaters are at temp. And it's slowly stepping up the upper heater. Okay. So I'm going to hit it right there. That's it. That's it. Okay, that's our demonstration. Please let us know if you have any questions.